Hello my friends, story time with Mrs. Beth again. I have a special shout out to Hudson and Carter and Spencer and Logan and other friends that have been at Mrs. Jeannie's cottage. Cottage life is fun. You can play outside, you can swim, and you know what? Other than the fish in the water, sometimes there are beavers. I have a story today called Busy Beavers. It's a learning story, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's read all about beavers. Busy Beavers. Beside a pond, a beaver snacks on tall grass and weeds. On land, beavers find trees to use for making their homes. They're called lodges. They build their lodges in deep water. A beaver swims back and forth from its home to the land. This beaver is busy building a dam to hold water back in a pond. Soon the water will be deep and will be safe place for the beaver to build its lodge. With its sharp front teeth, the beaver cuts a branch in two. A hard orange coating on the teeth keeps them from chipping as the beaver bites through wood. In fall, a beaver works extra hard to get its lodge and dam ready for winter. It carries old grass and mud from the bottom of the pond and packs them into cracks between branches. Then it adds more branches. Underwater, the beaver pushes sticks into the lodge to make it strong. When it is finished, the lodge is big enough to hold a whole beaver family. Soon beavers cut down most of the trees by the water. Then they go into the woods for more trees. Beavers have short legs and cannot walk fast. They need to stay near water for safety. So they dig a canal from the pond to the woods. They bring logs back in the water. So there's their lodge, and they have a food pile. They build dams, canals, so they can come and get the trees and get back to the lodge. They need to be close to water. On land, a beaver is always on the lookout for enemies. This beaver has run into a bear, but it's a bear cub that's just curious, so it's okay. Whether a beaver is working or playing, it stays close to the water. If afraid, the beaver will dive in and swim away. A beaver sniffs the air and listens. If it senses danger, perhaps a fox or a coyote, the beaver starts swimming and raises its tail in the air and then suddenly it's whoop! The beaver slaps its tail against the water. The loud noise tells other beavers that danger is nearby. Then the beaver swims fast to its lodge. Two beavers enter their lodge underwater through a tunnel that runs from the pond into the lodge. Beavers swim very fast. Their hind feet are webbed like a duck's and help them move through the water. A beaver uses its wide flat tail to steer. Beavers swim all year round, even in icy water. They have a layer of fat that helps keep them warm around their body and their fur is very thick and waterproof. Inside the lodge, an adult beaver greets a baby that waits on a dry shelf above the water. The shelf is covered with twigs 
There, a beaver family eats, plays, and rests. The female usually gives birth to four or more babies. They are called kits. At first, the kits only drink their mother's milk. Soon, they'll eat grass, twigs, and bark, too. Baby beavers are called kits. Peek into a snow-covered lodge. Inside, a beaver family is warm and safe. The lodge is coated with mud that freezes and becomes as hard as a rock, and enemies cannot break in. Beavers stay busy all through the winter. When food runs low, adult beavers swim to an underwater food pile. They have built in the fall. They go find more food. The babies are born in late spring. In some places where beavers live, it may still be snowing when the beavers are born. If you see a lodge like this one on a cold day, take a look around. You may see a beaver that has come out for a crunchy snack. A twig, maybe, that it found in the ice. A newborn kit, remember a newborn beaver is called a kit, smaller than your fist, gets a lot of attention. The mother nurses her kits on the shelf where they were born. When it is five days old, the kit learns to swim. It waddles to the edge of the shelf and dives into the shallow pool below. Plop! The kit can swim within a few hours. In late spring, the kits began to swim outside the lodge. Their mothers help them. A tired kit may ride on its mother's back. Later, the mother may gently hold a kit in its mouth and push it to land. There, all the beavers rest in the sun. They like the warmth of the sun. Beavers often sunbathe. They may lie down almost like sunbathers at the beach. But soon their tails and their webbed feet begin to dry out and they dive into the water for a cool swim. A beaver has clear lids under its eyelids. Underwater, a beaver closes the clear lids and it can see right through them so it can see underwater. Is this mother sharing secrets with her babies? Maybe she is. Parents and their young talk to each other by rubbing their noses and by making soft noises. Sometimes they call out to each other by whistling. By the time a beaver is two years old, it is full grown. Now it leaves its family to live on its own. It travels along the bank of a river, a lake, or a pond. From time to time, it may sniff the mud on the bank. A male beaver can tell from the smell if a female is nearby. And a female knows if a male has been there. If the two meet, they may become mates. A daddy and a mommy. The mates swim off together. Can you guess what their first job will be? to look for a place to build a lodge so they can start their own family. And the female and male mates may stay together for life. Wow! Busy beavers! Building homes, finding food, having babies, looking after themselves so they don't get in trouble by coyotes or other animals that might try to find them. Busy beavers. They are swimming past and building those lodges and dams. Pretty brilliant creatures that God made. Hope you enjoyed this story. See you next time, my friends.